I found 19 high paying work from home jobs that you can do to make money in 2024. Now this was 118 pages of research that my team and I did in order to make this video because we want to make sure we always give you the best possible jobs. Mm. And not only do we tell you the careers, we actually give you examples of jobs that you can actually mm -hmm. apply to. So if you appreciate us doing all this hard work for you, go ahead and let us know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a trend researcher. And this is somebody who basically monitors and analyzes emerging trends, behaviors, and patterns in various industries. And some of the industries that often hire for this type of job are fashion, technology, and entertainment. And being a trend researcher is almost like being a cultural anthropologist of the digital age, deciphering the hidden meanings behind hashtags and memes to predict the next big thing. And trend researchers make about 53 to $98,000 a year. So this is a really good paying job. Now, a great way to get into this would be to start as a freelancer and then build a portfolio. Now, this job doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. Typically, you can get into it relatively easily. One good way would be to build a portfolio. Freelancing can really help as well. By the way, I'll put an opportunity up on the screen for you. You can check it out. So yeah, really like this one. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Speaking of trends, I'm actually going to be doing a live training on exactly how I grew and made money from my YouTube channel over the last few years. And I'm gonna be going over the most important things and the biggest trends that are changing in the YouTube world that will help you to do the same thing. And that training is going to be this week. So you can check the date by clicking down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And if you're happening to watch this in the future, you can click on the same exact link and it'll show you the next date that we have a live training. So definitely check that out because I have a ton of fun at these live trainings. Hundreds of people show up to them and they always ask me great questions questions and I just love helping you guys out when it comes to growing and making money on YouTube. Next is going to be a content migration coordinator. And this is basically somebody who's responsible for the transferring of digital content from one platform to another. And this includes seamless migrations during website updates or content updates. And this role can be found in various different industries such as technology, e-commerce, marketing, and publishing. And a fun fact about this is the first major content migration in the digital era actually occurred in 1990 96 when Yahoo moved its directory service to a searchable index of web pages, marking a significant milestone in internet history. And typically you'd make about 30 to $35 an hour in this job. By the way, I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an appointment coordinator. And this is somebody who coordinates appointments, basically. They basically manage schedule and arrange meetings to make sure that everyone can show up on time and they'll be in the same place. And it's going to be convenient. And appointment coordinators make about thirty-seven to fifty-one thousand dollars a year, and this is an incredibly easy job to land. Put some opportunities up on the screen; you can check them out. So yeah, definitely don't need a college degree, don't need previous experience. Super easy to land this job. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a seven point five out of ten opportunity score. All right, next one's going to be a fun one. Probably not for everyone, but I thought I'd mention this one, and that is an esports player. That's right. Don't let anyone ever tell you that you can't follow your passion of playing Call of Duty for. 15 hours a day because there are thousands of people out there that make a full-time income as professional esports athletes. And some of them are making millions and millions of dollars. Like here's a list of the earnings of some of the top esports athletes. And this is just what they've earned from tournaments. This doesn't count their sponsorships and endorsements and all that kind of thing. So these guys are making really, really good money. And it's not just esports. You can also make money by live streaming games online. You could be like a chess coach, for instance. And Glassdoor has esports players making about $51 to $94,000 a year total. I'll put some opportunities up there. You can pause the video if you'd like. So yeah, fun one, you know, obviously like not going to be for everyone out there. You have to be insanely good at these video games in order to be uh, an esports professional athlete, but it's just one I thought I'd mention. I'll go ahead and give this one like a 15 out of 10 opportunity score if you could actually do it. Wow, <laughs> excellent dream score. All joking aside though, like probably takes a lot of the fun away from playing video games if you have to take it that seriously. So it's probably not a 15 out of 10, but I just thought I'd put this one on there just as a joke. Speaking of following your passion, if you would like to be a YouTuber yourself, I do actually coach a few people every single month on how 
to grow and monetize YouTube just like I did. I started off watching hundreds, if not thousands of hours of YouTube myself. I was an avid consumer of YouTube just like you are. Then I started realizing, hey, why don't I start making YouTube videos myself? And at first I started uploading RuneScape videos. Unfortunately, all my videos were deleted because I used copyrighted music and I didn't even know that you couldn't do that. And then eventually I started a personal brand and I wanted to really take YouTube seriously and treat it like a business. And that's exactly what I did with this channel. And that's what I teach other people how to do. So if you want to apply for my coaching, I only accept a few people per month, but you can apply by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And speaking of YouTube, let's talk about the next career on the list, which is social media analyst. Social media analysts are responsible for gathering and analyzing data. And they do this from various different social media platforms around the internet. And social media analysts make 45 to $77,000 a year. So yeah, understanding social media and the trends that are going on on social media is really a valuable skill. And this is one where it's actually easier to get into this if you're kind of a younger person just because you grew up around social media and you kind of understand it on a deeper level. So it's much easier to get a job in this one. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I'll put an opportunity up on the screen for you. You can check it out. Next is going to be a security operations center analyst. And basically, you're going to be responsible for monitoring and analyzing security events that happen in an organization. This is done to protect the organization's data from cybersecurity threats. Now, this is a very common position in finance, technology, healthcare, and government type industries. Now, this is also referred to as a SOC analyst or a security operations center analyst, and they make about 70 to $126,000 a year. So yeah, cybersecurity jobs, relatively easy to get into. Sometimes you can just get into it with a certification program, or you can just self-teach. And honestly, uh, ethical hackers sometimes make the best cybersecurity defenders. So yeah, really good one. Um, relatively easy to get into. I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I'll put an opportunity opportunity up on the screen for you. You can check it out. Next is going to be a search engine marketing or SEM specialist. So as a SIM specialist, you'll be responsible for optimizing online ad campaigns. And your goal is to achieve the maximum ROI you can from your ads. So you'd be running something like Google ads, for instance. So the ads that show up at the top of Google when you search, those would be the types of ads that you'd be running. And search engine marketing specialists make 55 to $94,000 a year. Put some opportunities up on the screen. You know what to do. Now, one thing that is amazing about digital marketing, marketing related careers, which SIM specialist is a digital marketing related career, is that they are very easy to get into and you definitely do not need a college degree or previous experience. And the reason for that is because digital marketing is constantly changing. And so it doesn't really make sense for colleges, for instance, to do this degree because by the time they taught it, it would be different a few years later. And that's why by far the best way to learn digital marketing is by taking online courses or certifications. And I've actually interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have been able to get into to digital marketing doing just that. And they were all able to do it through my friend, Seth Jarrett. And I have an interview with Seth Jarrett, which I guess I'll have pop up on the screen. And I have a bunch of interviews with a bunch of his students, which I'll put up on the screen as well. And he actually does a free masterclass where he teaches you everything you need to know about digital marketing, the different types of digital marketing, and whether it's good for you and your personality. And you can check that out by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So another type of digital marketing, since we're on that subject, is going to be an email marketing specialist. So email marketing, guys, I know Oh, it sounds really boring and you're like, nobody reads their emails anymore. But actually, email marketing is still the most effective form of marketing. You make about $35 to $40 for every $1 you spend on email marketing over the lifetime of a customer. So over the long run, it is one of the most effective forms of marketing. And an interesting fact about email marketing is the first email marketing campaign was sent by Gary Thurick, and it was done in 1978, and he made $13 million in sales. And email marketing specialists make about $55 to $88,000 a year. So yeah, digital marketing, amazing. Email marketing is one of the best skills to learn. Put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out if you like. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is gonna be another type of digital marketing, which is a pay-per-click advertising specialist. Now, now pay-per-click is basically where you would pay every single time someone clicks on your ad. So you're not necessarily paying for conversions. You're paying every single time someone clicks. So you're basically paying for leads. And an interesting fact about this, because I guess I'm some kind of digital marketing history nerd, is in 1998, Godot.com established the first pay-per-click auction system. And this basically allowed advertisers to bid for ad position on keywords and ads ranked by bid value. So yeah, 
pretty cool little fact right there. And pay-per-click specialists make about 50 to $82,000 a year. I'll put some opportunities up there. Go ahead. So yeah, another really good one. I will go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Also, I forgot to mention all three of these digital marketing careers are relatively easy to get into. Now, the next one is very interesting and it is more of a new career and that is a growth hacker. And so this is a very creative and data-driven type of marketer. And you basically try to follow trends to accelerate a business's growth. And typically you're going to be using innovative and unconventional strategies. So being a growth hacker is almost like being the mad scientist of the digital marketing world. And growth hackers make 169 to $315,000 a year. Now, this is one of those positions. First of all, it's pretty rare. Typically you're going to get offered this position at a startup. And the second thing is you have to have an incredible skill set to be able to become a growth hacker. So you very likely either have to already have a bunch of experience or you already started your own business or something along those lines. But yeah, really cool career, lots of different unconventional growth strategies. I like reading about growth hacking just to see what's going on out there. One interesting growth hacking strategy I'm seeing a lot of software companies using is basically giving out notion templates. So they let people have these free notion templates, but there's some sort of advertisement within the notion template. So very interesting strategy. And yeah, um, this one, you know, pretty rare, not a lot of people are going to get into it. So for that reason, I guess I'll give it like a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is going to be a conversion rate optimization specialist or CRO specialist. And basically as a CRO specialist, your job is to increase the amount of people who actually convert when they visit your website, right? So conversion might be filling out a form or actually buying something. And this role is incredibly common in SaaS industries, uh, e-commerce and digital marketing agencies. So you're basically trying to make the website as perfect as possible to get the most amount of people to take the desired action. And CRO specialists make 51 to $92,000 a year. So yeah, another really good digital marketing related career. Definitely check out that free training down in the description in the pinned comment below. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is going to be a human resource analyst. In this position, you kind of combine uh, HR, which is human resources with data analyst. So you're going to be looking at different performance metrics of the employees. You're going to be looking at their compensation, their benefits, etc. And this is going to be used to provide recommendations to optimize workforce management. And human resource analysts make 66 to $103,000 a year. So yeah, another really interesting one. Uh, this one, a lot of the times does require a college degree, but a lot of the time they don't really care which college degree you have, and you can just get some certifications in order to be qualified for it. I'll put some opportunities up there. You can pause the video if you'd like. So yeah, pretty good one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a web analyst. And this is somebody who's basically responsible for analyzing website traffic, user behavior, and performance metrics in order to optimize a website. Oftentimes, you'd be looking at different Google products such as Google Analytics 360, Google Optimize, Google Data Studio, and Google Tag Manager. And web analysts make about seventy-seven dollars to $136,000 a year. By the way, guys, um, if you're enjoying this video, go ahead, share it with a friend who you think might need it, you know, maybe a friend, family member, or someone who just needs to get a job that you know. I get comments all the time from people saying, hey, my you know family share shared this with me or hey, my teacher shared this with me and that kind of thing. And I really appreciate that. And I love growing this channel organically. So yeah, web analyst, um, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a eight out of 10 opportunity score. Pretty solid. By the way, I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is going to be a project lead. Now, this is somebody who's basically responsible for overseeing and executing the plan of a project. And project leaders make about eighty-eight dollars to $155,000 a year. Put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out if you like. And yeah, this is another one where sometimes they will require a college degree. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they do require previous experience. Sometimes they don't. But a lot of the time, you can just get some certifications and you'll be good to go when it comes to landing this job. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is an unemployment compensation specialist. And basically you're going to be managing and overseeing unemployment claims. And this of course is a job in the United States. So you'd be ensuring that a company is following regulations and compliances, and you'd be assisting individuals in the claims process. And unemployment compensation specialists make 57 to $95,000 a year. Put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out. And this is another one that's relatively easy to get into. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Next, 
Next is going to be a sales support specialist. And this is basically the backbone of a sales team. And they provide administrative and operational assistance to ensure smooth sales processes and customer satisfaction spanning various industries. And they make about 56 to $91,000 a year. Now, I've said this many times on the channel. I honestly think everybody should do a sales job at least one time in their life because I think it teaches you incredibly valuable communication skills, being able to see things from other people's perspective and being able to align what you want with what they want. So yeah, love this job. Um, I think everyone should do it at least once. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. I'll put some opportunities up there. You can pause the video if you'd like. By the way, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You made it this far into the video. Only 20% of you are subscribed. The rest of you are lurkers. Come on, don't be a lurker. We put a lot of effort into these videos. Show your appreciation by subscribing. Next is going to be a customer success manager. And this is an amazing position. I actually uh, love this one. And I recently hired this position myself as well. And basically, once a company has signed a client, typically it's more of a high ticket client, you assign someone to them in order to make sure that they have success. And this is a very common position in industries such as e-learning, technology, and SaaS. So you're basically assigned to make sure the client is happy, make sure that they are getting exactly whatever they want out of whatever product or service you're providing to them. And you get compensated based on how long the client keeps renewing their contract. So you do get a base pay, but you also get continuation pay as well if they keep renewing their contract over and over again. And they make about 119 to $210,000 a year. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out. So yeah, this is a bit of a high pressure role. You have to work directly with clients. You have to make sure they're getting results. You have to keep them happy, but you get paid really good money for this. And it's one of those where you don't have to have a ton of experience in order to get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a market researcher. And this is somebody who analyzes market conditions, trends, and consumer preferences to provide valuable data insights. And this can be done across various different industries, such as consumer goods or technology. Now, one thing that's very interesting about marketing is it's always changing. Things that were objectively true five years ago are no longer objectively true now. And that's the thing that keeps marketing so fresh and so interesting. So just as an example, um, everyone says like, don't tell people that you're trying to sell them something. That's the advice that everyone gives. But I'm very straightforward to people like, you know, for instance, with my coaching program, it costs a lot of money because it takes up a lot of my time. And I'm very upfront with people about that. And that seems to work really well with me because people appreciate me being honest and upfront. So that's an example of marketing kind of changing over time. But anyways, market researchers make about 60 to 107 thousand dollars a year and it's a relatively easy role to get into so yeah really good one i'm going to give it a nine out of ten opportunity score by the way i'll put an opportunity up on the screen for you you can check it out next is going to be a data researcher or data researcher if you pronounce it that way and in this position you're basically going to be sifting through vast amounts of data and you're going to be extracting valuable insights from that data and this is very common in different industries such as finance healthcare and marketing and data researchers make about 59 to one hundred and ten thousand dollars a year with some opportunity is up on the screen. You can check them out if you like. So yeah, another really good one. Anything involving data is really good. This is actually almost honestly like a borderline entry level position. There's some data positions out there where you can make like hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. But yeah, this one's really good. I'll go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I uploaded this video 10 no interview remote jobs that are always hiring just a few months ago, and it already has over 700,000 views. People absolutely love the video. They're raving about it. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.